everybody, E here. I got a package. So this one is another surprise uh, package from Australia. I know who it's from this time. Sarah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, which it all culminated together. Sarah sent me the final uh, proofread for the latest book. And I got a package from her. So we're going to open this. I'm going to keep her address away from you guys. So if you see my address, I don't really care. Just don't send no bombs, okay? That's all I ask. So I have no idea what this is. Once again, it looks like... Whew, ooh, Lord. Okay. Oh, wait a second. We got... <laughs> okay, first, we got a card. It looks like... Looks like this might be birthday stuff. So... <laughs> Farts. A birthday guy. <laughs> <laughs> the bum burner. She knows what. Oh, God, you got uh, cardboard remnants floating. <laughs> she knows how old I am for real. The bum burner. <laughs> Fart so hot that it singes your bum hairs when it's released. The bubble trouble. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this. Wow. I can't do this. Uh, a fart that gets trapped in pants. <laughs> And have to bubble up your back and it's meant for freedom. Uh, I was like, uh, you wonder how the, the ladies in the really tight yoga pants or like the really tight spandex, you wonder if they fart. That's what happened. Um, <laughs> the methane monster. A fart made up of rotting hard boiled eggs that's best kept away from any naked flame <laughs> in a three kilometer range. Card farted at me. The crowd pleaser. <laughs> a loud and smelly beastie that clears whole rooms and draws admiration from other blokes. You know, they say blokes because only guys. <sighs> the guided missile. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, one that you know is coming loud and fast and this isn't a damn thing you can do about it. I, I'm very familiar with that one. Here's a little TMI for you. So, with my surgery my muscles back there don't work as well so they just farts just come i mean i have no control over it so if i'm gassy i can't leave the house i'll be walking down the street just farting on everybody uh the cat tormentor a thin whiny fart that sounds exactly like a mouse uh can you imagine that remember when we had raven we had a cat named raven who passed that's away chris. but um but yeah eat me that'd be yeah uh, that's chris dude yeah chris chris squeaks him uh, the Trojan Horse. The Trojan Horse, a fart that not only slips out loud and smelly, but also carries a surprise, solid presence. <laughs> uh, you shat your pants. Muscles from Brussels. <laughs> the Jean-Claude Van Damme, you think? No, that's not in here. I made that up. Um, a huge sprout fart that would have the world laughing at you for eternity, and so must be released painfully slowly. By working your sphincter, open one millimeter every two seconds. Two minutes, sorry. See, I can't do that one. Because it just randomly farts at you. The, the line... Do you mind, monkey? See, the monkey right up. The line dancer. A trump... A trump that spits out accidentally, causing you to try and cover it up by dancing on the imaginary bug on the floor. Oh, uh, the lucky bag. An odorless fart coinciding so exactly with a sneeze that no one notices. Those are lifesavers. Alright, so, so, I can't, it's, it's too hot. I gotta take that off. Alright, dear E, enjoy the chorus and enjoy your birthday, which I'm sure is long past by now. No, not, not, not yet. Um, August 18th, in case anybody's wondering. Um, and today is what, July 22nd? 3rd. <laughs> Camera lady, Shell, is saying this is the 23rd. <laughs> You're receiving two presents today, one for your birthday and one for Christmas. Thank you so much. Uh, only open the one in blue paper today. Keep the other till December. These two books are the start of two of my favorite fantasy series, and I thought uh, they might be a different take, different 
might be different takes on fantasy from what you've tried in the past. Lots of love from Australia. Austra lots, of, lots of love from Australia. Sarah Frost. Uh, July 13, uh, 2018. P.S. Only took 10 days to get here. P.S. Open on video if you want. Love to see your reaction. Well, I opened the whole thing. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta, I gotta open this. This is amazing. This, the kids are gonna get a kick out of that one, too. Alright, so only open the blue... <laughs> so much cardboard remnants. Alright, only open the blue one. I'm gonna show everybody the other one. This is the Christmas present. Right there. Okay? I'm gonna keep this for the Christmas video. <laughs> it's snowing cardboard. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't give any gifts that I can unwrap. Alright. Jasper. <laughs> they are. They are. They are. The Iyer Affair. That was the very Iyer Affair. Uh, so, Jasper. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm guessing it's just Ford. 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 Jasper. The Iyer Affair. Jasper, that name, has gone where no other fictioneer has gone before. Millions of readers will follow, follow. See, I already see the car. So, I mean, if it's a fantasy novel with, like, modern technology, I can dig it. That's part of the reason why I like uh, Stephen King's books. The way he fits in all the old technology and everything into the... Not Stephen King's books. Stephen King's Dark Tower series. His fantasy stuff. Because he fits in all the old machinery. He's got guns and stuff like that in there. <clears throat> Anywho, I'm guessing this is supposed. Yeah, it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like it's old and shredded and worn out. That's cool. I like that. That's how I did my Bay's End book, um, the most recent one. That's nice. I'll probably read this pretty soon. Very short chapters for a fantasy novel. So yes, definitely. Thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Um, let's see here. Trying to see if there. I'll read what it what it's about. Meet Thursday next. Literary detective without equal fear or boyfriend. So Thursday next is her name or his name. I don't know. Um, you know, boyfriend doesn't tell me anything. There is an there is another 1985 where London's criminal gangs have moved into the lucrative literary market, and Thursday next is on the trail of the new new crime waves. Mr. Big, Asheron. Hey, I'm so bad with names. Uh, Asheron Hades. Hades, whatever, has been kidnapping characters from works of fiction and holding them to ransom. Jane Eyre is gone. Oh, okay, missing. So he kidnapped the actual fictional character of Jane Eyre. Does that mean she's gone from the books? Is the books just missing her, or are those books gone too? Um, I, see, now I'm already, my interest is peaked. Uh, Thursday sets out to find a way into the book to repair the damage, but solving crimes against literature isn't easy when you also have to find time to halt the Cr Crimean War, uh, persuade the man you love to marry you, and figure out who really wrote Shakespeare's plays. Ooh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> shells in the back of them, hmm, that sounds interesting to me. Perhaps today just isn't going to be Thursday's day. Maybe it's not Thursday. Um, <laughs> join her on a truly breathtaking adventure and find out for yourself. Fiction will never be the same again. That is awesome. That is an awesome premise for a story. Um, yeah, very cool. I had an idea for this about a tree house. Um, where people go, it's like the end of the world and this kid finds a tree house and goes in there and ends up jumping through stories. But then I realized that that is not anywhere near a new concept. People have been doing that forever. Um, so... But I am interested in this because this is this is unique. Somebody kidnaps the characters. Anywho, this is awesome, Sarah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and the money that you're spending on these things is outrageous. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what the Australian dollar is to the dollar, but I see the post the postage on there. That's insane. So thank you so much. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been an unboxing secret package from my friend Sarah. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.